Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to put your iPod screen on your computer. It's really simple and easy. So first of all, just open Cydia. And yes, you do need a jailbroken iPod for this, so if you don't have one, don't bother watching the rest of the video. So, once you open it, just like that, go on search right at the bottom right corner. Search up Vinci. I know it sounds sort of gay, but that's what it's called. So I have this one where it's like globe or whatever it is. This one right here. Just open it, and right here it should say modify. No, I mean install. Mine says modify since I already have it. Now, just go out your iPod. Which I'm going to do right now. Okay. And go on to your internet or whatever you use. Now I'm just going to go back all the way and search up. Go on to Google and search up Kite VNC. Just like that. Now go on this one where it says download Kite VNC, the second one. Open it up and this is the website that it should open to. Scroll down until you see this. It should say platform windows link and then download right here. And then in the description just open the one where it says self installing package for windows. Just go on this. But I already have this so I'm not going to bother downloading it again. Because it doesn't take too long but I don't want to have it on my iPod. I mean on my computer. It will just take a couple really useless space. Okay, now just go to your computer and go to wherever you would download anything. After you open that, just find it and install it. Now after you do that, if you did not change where it installs to, it should be in C, Program Files from 60, 86 or something like that. Scroll down until you see Kite VNC, just like this. Open it up, and right here, it will be like License Screen Hooks Kite VNC Website TVN, TVN Server Uninstall, and then there should be VNC Server here. But I just took it away and put it on my desktop because I did not want to keep on coming up to here and open it. Now, I'm just going to close this to show you how to do everything else. Now after you open VNC Viewer, this random thing will just come up. Not really random though. Okay, now just right here, it'll, it won't say this the first time you open it. It'll just be blank here. And I'll show you what you have to do. I'm just going to put in 9, 6, 8, uh, 4. Now you're probably thinking what the hell is he doing? not that tricky. Okay, so on your iPod, just go on to settings, open up Wi-Fi, and go on this little blue thing right here, the little blue arrow. Now look on your iPod, and when you see this, this IP address for your internet, just use that, and then press the home button on your iPod or whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to close this again. And once you have that, just open up the NT Viewer and type in your IP address, which in my case is 192.168.0.4. And then just go on Connect. Now on your iPod, it should say Remote Access Request. Request Connection for, and then a number. And it'll just say set a VNC password and settings and all that. Just it'll say reject and accept. Go on accept. And this thing might not show up, but for me it does. It says you want to put it on full screen, and I'm just going to go on OK. And it puts it on full screen. And there's this little problem that it has at the beginning. I'm just going to come out of the full screen mode. At the beginning, it is this big which is really hard to show anything just like at 100 
which is really big and it really bothered me at the beginning. It's really hard because you have to scroll all over the place if you want to use it. And if you even if you put it in full screen mode, it will bother you a little bit. So I just put it to 75, which is a good size that I found. And if you put it on full screen mode, it fits perfectly in there. And you can and this is really good for those people that don't have cameras and still want to make videos on YouTube of their iPod. So hope I helped guys. Bye.